Hey everybody, IT Ops Guy. I wanted to show you today um, what syslogs and traps look like within the SolarWinds product. Uh, so I added my QNAP NAS um, that you can see right here. Uh, in fact, we're getting a high memory alert on it. And so we're gonna take care of a couple of things today. Um, so first and foremost, let's take care of the memory warning just because I don't wanna see it. Um, right now, this thing says it's running at 91%. Uh, if we come over here and look at the vital stats, uh, you'll see that memory used there. It is red, indicating that um, that is the component that is causing um, the alert. And so this QNAP's always gonna run a little heavy, right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is edit this node and then down here towards the bottom uh, where the memory usage is, I'm gonna override the default behavior and I'm gonna say, well, only alert me if it's uh, 95 and uh, 99. Uh, and that should be good right there. So let's go ahead and submit that. And we don't need to wait for that. Let's come over here and look at uh, syslogs and traps. And I wanna show you what those two things look like. So let's go to the traps first and take a look at these. So I configured that QNAP with an SNMP user. Um, so you may know what SNMP is. It is a simple network management protocol. Uh, so that is used for you know any Linux appliance, routers, firewall switches, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I sent some simple traps to it. And so here's here's my QNAP, and I logged into the QNAP and you know ran some applications. And so it sent some traps over to my uh, SolarWinds instance, which is my trap receiver. And what's really cool is um, the full text search in the new version. So you can, you know, type something and then get the traps that have that phrase in there. Um, there's a lot of people who have kind of a, a love-hate relationship with this new version. I really like it. Um, except there's no real way to like export any kind of data which stinks um, so other than copying and pasting which i'm not a huge fan of um, typically what i end up doing is going into the database finding the information that i need and pulling it out of there so solar winds if you're listening here's another opportunity um, that that you can make this product better i know it's new um, in the 2022 versions and later, but but we, you've got to have a way to export these traps, right? I use these logs all the time for my auditing team. I want to be able to simply export them without having to go into the database, write my own custom SQL query, export the data that I need, and ship it off to my auditing team. I would much rather prefer um, to have a cool little button that says export and I can export everything that I want into, you know, Excel, Word, what have you. Um, so you filter by using the this stuff on the left side. So, you know, obviously we could pretend I had a, a bunch of things in here. Um, I don't, you know, all we've got are 16 traps uh, that my NAS sent. Um, but essentially what you could do is, is filter down to the device or devices that you want. Um, you can use this search to find the information that you need. Um, again, what's cool about it is that uh, it uses full text search on the database. So you can see results are actually really quick. Um, if you don't have full text search enabled on your database, you'll get an error at the top, not an error, but a warning that says, hey, you know, to use this feature at its best, you'll want to have full text searching on and then it gives you some information on how to enable that within your database. So that is um, traps in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and look at syslogs and what you're going to notice right off the bat is they look very, very similar, right? Um, so very similar. Uh, it's, it's essentially the exact same format. Um, so exact same filters on the left here. 
Uh, again, no way to export the data. So uh, SolarWinds, don't just fix it for traps, fix it for syslogs as well. Um, but you know, the, these syslogs, you can see everything that I've got is informational. Uh, if we change this and go last seven days, I did get one warning and you can look at that warning and expand it out and we can see it here exactly what that warning was and you can see that um, we had a um, an email that uh, didn't didn't uh, well it expired right so um, that was an account that I was playing with but here are the syslogs for the device um, my QNAP NAS and, and you can see um, all the different successes that are in here so this was a, you know a login and it was a success but you you could imagine you know as you are collecting logs for your environment you may want to know successes failures um, any kind of warnings fatals all that kind of stuff so there are some canned reports that are for um, specifically syslogs and traps um, so if we go over to the report section and i just put in syslog um, there are some reports for like, what are the devices that are sending me syslogs? Uh, and so you, you've got the name and the IP and who it's talking to. Um, so that's a very simple report. Uh, and then we've got some other reports. And so let's go trap. And it's actually pretty much the same report, right? So it is in fact the exact same report, uh, syslog or trap. So you only get the one report and that's, hey, who's sending me stuff? Um, and then silly enough in the report, it doesn't even differentiate between, is it sending me a syslog or is it sending me a trap? Because you can configure them separate, right? They are configured separately. Um, so it'd be nice to know in the report, is it, you know, syslog or trap or both? Um, so again, just a, another recommendation to you, uh, SolarWinds. But uh, that is how you would set up a, um, a device to talk to you on, on either syslog or traps and kind of what they look like within the SolarWinds platform. So... Um, that is all I've got. Nice short video for today. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, put them down there in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer those things as they come up. Thanks, guys.